Well, what's going on everyone? Another beautiful day here in the Carolinas. Seven degree weather, sunny, got a few clouds out and it makes a perfect day to work on the site again. Now my main focus is to get this mound of dirt back there onto the site where I wanted to put it at. So that's what we're gonna be working on again today. So, show you the vehicles that I am gonna be working with. Of course, the excavator, always the key in this uh, in this project here. Then we got the 579 dozer from Double E. We're gonna be working with that. And then we got the Diecast Master D7E Caterpillar dozer. Now I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be running this one. Been having a little bit of issue with the right track there. Um, there's a, like a loud grinding sound. I think maybe the motor bearing might be warped on it or might just have some dirt in there really not sure but hopefully i'm gonna try to run it maybe a you know clean itself and then of course the dump truck i did end up putting a little uh guy inside there so i won't be ghosting the only vehicle that will probably be a ghost rider <laughs> is the d7e because this is a smaller scale it's 124 actually so you can see a little bit size difference so now today it's just going to be myself running. John's not able to make it out here. And we got a plane flying. Always a plane coming over my house. Somewhere over there. But let's get into uh, start doing some digging and work that, that dirt back there. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing up there on the top of the hill. It's up our arm. It's always tricky with the machinery to do, to do this. All right, there we go. So we look like we are in good position. So we need to bring in the dump truck.
tell my friends the dump truck died on me during its halfway progress to the dump site there. I'm very surprised the battery lasted fairly long because I was using it just yesterday on part four of the uh, working on the construction site there. I was using it and I did not charge up the battery. So uh, I got a good yesterday run out of it and then today I got an amazing run. I'm blown away on how long the batteries last on these vehicles with being such small batteries you think uh, a 1200 milliamp to 2000 milliamp wouldn't last too long but in these vehicles they last for a extremely long time. For example, the excavator. Been using this non-stop. Now, you look down there in the right hand screen right there. I don't know if you probably could see it. Maybe. But I'm only at 75% and I've been out here maybe for about two, three hours. Actually about three hours I think I've been out here running the excavator with the sound, the lights on there and I'm only at 75%. That is just insane. Lighting's better this way. <laughs> but uh, the dump truck, you know, the dump truck there stopped with a full load of dirt in it. So I had to get that out of there and uh, maybe call it a day. And that's good. I can uh, enjoy the rest of my Saturday afternoon. I'll probably be editing this video, but oh well. <laughs> All right, my friends. So thank you again for watching, please. Hit that thumbs like button if you like the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see y'all in the next upcoming video. Thanks for watching. Blah.